President-elect Obama is due to meet his one-time rival on Monday, Senator John McCain. It would be their first meeting since the election. Beyond politics, though, lots of talk lately about an Obama effect with his historic election to the White House. Lynn Burnett is along with us now, co-founder and group publisher of Uptown Magazine. Lynn, welcome to the program. Nice Thank to see you. you. Nice to see you. What is the Obama effect? We've seen a lot about this lately. Yeah. I think, well, as far as business is concerned, I think uh, for us in the publishing business, there's through all this campaign, there's been a lot more discussion and open discussion about uh, the African-American audience in general, mm -hmm. uh, what's going on, who, you know, who are they. Mm -hmm. um, and then sort of, I think, an eye-opening experience for a lot of clients that are, you know, that this sort of invisible, affluent African-American consumer is very real. Yeah. Uh, You're certainly focused on that with Uptown Magazine. What about in, in, with, with, with leadership, corporate leadership, nonprofit leadership? Uh, does this change the way that we will view uh, leadership, and, and not only from a shareholder perspective, but from a public perspective? I think it will. You know, I think it will add to it. Um, I think over the years, there's been that slow turning, opening of the door for leadership. You've seen folks like Ken Chenault break through and, and American and Express. First, right. American Express. And, um, and I think there's a lot of folks that with, at companies that are maybe not as big as the Fortune 500, so you know, have a leadership of strong African American uh, and men and women. Sure. Um, but I think it sort of, again, just opens the door a little bit further. Uh, there's this one opinion that's like, hey, the Obama effect is going to change the world mm -hmm. and overnight, you know. And I don't think it's going to be exactly like that. I think that uh, uh, it's going to be continued, continued uh, opening of the door, a continued education process uh, to let folks know that because at the end of the day, you want bright people, right? And um, and so, but there are a lot of bright African American men and women that have more than capable of running businesses and uh, companies. You mentioned the affluent audience and the African American, mm -hmm. uh, which you're tr attracting or trying to attract with your Uptown Magazine. Difficult economy, though, regardless of uh, what the income levels are. Uh, has this impacted the business of publishing? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a, uh, if, as the, from the business of publishing, we all are sort of tightening our belt. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the idea, if you're not looking at how to cut costs, conserve um, dollars, because uh, I think we all believe it's going to be a rough first half and certainly uh, most of the next That's year. That's what you're hearing from advertisers. Yeah, from advertisers, yeah, exactly. Sure. But I think we're in a good position in that uh, we're a newfound audience. Uh, you know, advertisers that have been doing the same thing for the last couple of years have not seen any growth or development. You know, it's at some point they think, like, we need to do something a little bit di and different. And does the election change that? I mean, is it uh, eye-opening to them to some degree? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. To some degree. You know, I, again, I think that there's a uh, there's some folks who feel like and this is going to be an epiphany and the, the gates of heaven are going to open up and all the money is going to start <laughs> flowing through. And I, do, and that, I don't believe that's going to happen. But I do think it just, it uh, there's a, a, a more engaging conversation. And it can't really be ignored. Right. Um, and so that is what, uh, you know, at the end of the day, the businesses are going to still have to stand on their own and show that they are viable businesses, viable consumers, but at least you can't say that they don't know anybody that this sure, <laughs> represents. Yeah. Black and white, green is right, the color right, that counts. Green here, is right? the color yeah. that counts. Uh, but as you're going after this uh, affluent African American audience, and certainly the change in leadership, uh, opening the eyes of some advertisers to that audience, give us an idea of what some of those, adver who, who are those advertisers that sure. used to come into your audience? Yeah, I think for us, I mean, we've traditionally done well in the areas of automotive, uh, you know, and liquor and yeah. things like that. Um, but but what that we, automotive business these days, I mean, is that under pressure? It's under pressure. But what we found and been able to do is crack the code and sort of opening up uh, other opportunities mm. from these other uh, luxury automotive partners. We've always had support from the uh, Mercedes-Benz, the BMWs, the Lexuses, and Toyotas. But we've been fortunate enough to, uh, you know, been able to approach and do business with the likes of uh, Aston Martin, mm. um, um, Maserati, who've done programs with us where we really have sort of showed them that, hey, this consumer is one you should advertise to, All and right. they're going to buy your product. Lynn, best of luck with the magazine. Really, it's a good-looking book. Uh, Lynn Burnett, the name of the magazine, Uptown Magazine.